Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be going over another one of my favorite packages. Now, this is the very best package for working with Markdown in React. But before we get started, I want to take a quick break to talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Dev Mountain. So, what Dev Mountain is, is, well, it's a coding bootcamp where you can go and you totally immerse yourself. And what I mean by that is, well, it's full time. So, you show up to one of their locations and you stay and live there. And you obviously get free housing while you do this and there's in several different locations from Provo, Salt Lake, Dallas, and Phoenix and you show up and basically you have access to full-time mentors, tons of courses, and the ability to just grow as a web developer, designer, app developer in a place that really encourages personal growth. So Dev Mountain is super cool because you show up and get absolutely real world training. You can see it's very career focused. They have a huge network, companies like Nike, and Reddit, and eBay, LinkedIn, Apple, HP, the list goes on and on and on. So if you're looking to really step up your career, head to devmountain.com, check out some of their locations, check out their courses, request a syllabus, take a tour of the campus, and just contact them and step up your game by taking the leap into becoming a full-time programmer, designer, any of that stuff with Dev Mountain. All right, now back to the tutorial. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about some more of my favorite React packages. And in this particular video, I'm gonna be talking about Markdown to JS. Now, I'm not quite sure when this package was released, but this thing makes working with Markdown super duper easy. For a long time, what you've had to do is use a package called Marked, uh, which is a JavaScript package, and then you were to have to dangerously set HTML whatever inside of your React. Now with Markdown 2 JSX, it is an extremely easy setup. You can see we just install Markdown 2 JSX, then we import Markdown from Markdown 2 JSX, and then we wrap our Markdown code in this Markdown tag or component. Uh, let me bump up the font size. You can see this thing is super slick, right? It even works with a basic string inside of here. Now, as you can see here, it says, uh, you know, this is discouraged to just basically have new lines, multi-line text, blah, blah, blah. Basically keep your markdown files in a separate file import them, uh, and then throw them into Markdown. I'm actually using this currently on Level Up Tutorials, and I use it uh, basically with some Markdown saved into my database, and I'm popping out the product description right here inside of a Markdown tag. You can see I use this little force block. Now, force block is one of the options in the uh, options prop, and force block is going to make this stuff come out as a paragraph tag, as in your basic text is going to be a paragraph tag. So like, what kind of options do you get inside of this thing? Let's head down and check out the API a little bit. So the options that come in this thing, well, options.force block. Uh, we also have options force line, which is going to force it in line, right? Uh, we also have options dot overrides, override any HTML tags representation. You can see, hey, we're going to override an H1 with your own component. So if you're using something like styled components, this suddenly gets really interesting because you can say, hey, make all of my H1s into uh, my header tag or card header or whatever. I'm giving you really full control over the HTML that pops out of here. So these override options are brilliant. I absolutely love this you can simply just give it a component like this. And you could see a few more options here. Like I said, this thing is great. It is simple as it can be, and it gives you the freedom to give full control over it if need be. So check it out. This package is Markdown to JSX. It is an excellent package that, like it mentions, you can use with React or Preact or anything, right? So anything that's using JSX, check it out, Markdown to JSX. This is the best package that I've found for working with Markdown in React.